Hi everyone, I thought I'd put together a quick notebook. Recently when I was playing with the Flan 20B model, one of the things I sort of noticed just by accident was that it's actually not that bad at chat and conversational AI sort of stuff, um, which it really shouldn't be that great because I don't think it's actually been trained on chat data sets. And I'm definitely interested in looking at fine tuning it on some chat data sets going forward. But one of the things I thought I'd do is just put together a quick notebook to show you using Langchain to talk to this model. And then rather than use it locally, we're going to use the Hugging Face Hub version of the model. The idea here is that we're, we're basically, I'm going to set up two models. I'm going to set up the Flan 20B and also the T5, Flan T5 XL. All right. Just to show you how easy this is to sort of, and then this is sort of building on the, the last video that I did of talking about putting memory and stuff. I'm going to mostly just be using a standard conversational buffer memory. All right. And we're just going to use a simple conversational chain. Now I've set up a few of these and. What I'm going to do is just sort of go through and we can see how the model actually responds. So you can see, sure enough here, we're just doing the same thing that we were doing in the last video. We've set up a conversation chain. We've passed in the large language model being the Flan 20 billion. We're doing verbose equals true and we're passing in our memory. So I started off the conversation and you can see here's the prompt that we've got there. And then we've got our current conversation, which is going to be the history of the buffer of the conversation here. All right. So it's saying, how can I help you? And I can say, I want to say to this, yeah, let's just ask it. How are you today? So it's not exactly, fine, but it says, I'm good. Thanks. Right. Okay. Now let's ask it something like, you know, I want to ask it. Okay. Can you help me with my support? And you can see that we've got our buffer just building up there. And sure enough, it says, I can help you with that. Let's try one more in here. I'll just put in the same sort of thing we were doing in the last one. My TV is broken. Can fix it. And you can see, well, wait, right there. Oh, okay. I see. I've been playing around with this. So let me just make sure that I've got the conversation dot predict there. And then this is actually supposed to be a list. It's just going to be the input. Okay. The idea here is that we've just got a simple, you can see already that the model is actually not bad at having a conversation. So the next thing we want to do is we want to put this together in like a function. And on top of that, what I thought would be good would be to actually look at how we could maybe get something where we're counting the tokens as we go through this. So obviously here, the advantage of this over playing with the open AI is this is free. It's not costing you anything, any money or anything. You're just using hugging face token to be able to access the hugging face hub and ping the model there. But let's say we do want to know a little bit more about the, to the number of tokens that we've got. So what I've done here is just bringing in the, the auto tokenizer. So I've actually downloaded it already, but you would actually see it here if it wasn't downloaded already. So we've got the, the tokenizer for this. I'm pretty sure this is the same tokenizer for the T5 as well. And just to sort of show you a little bit about this, if we, if we just look at the, so we've got some test input. And if we were just to tokenize that, we would get back the input IDs and the attention masks, which is what's going to be sent to the model. What we can also get back though, is if we look at it like this, we can actually just see, okay, how it's tokenizing. So if you're ever wondering sort of an idea, you want to know, okay, how many tokens or how are the tokens being broken down and stuff like that? This is a way that you can actually look at your model and see, okay, what's going on here. All right. So I've kind of created this artificial sentence to try and get it to actually show us breaking up some of these tokens, some of these words into multiple tokens there. So now here, this is returning a list. This is very easy for us to just count the length of the list to get the number of tokens in a particular string now. All right. So the next thing we can do, so that makes it easy for us to basically count the tokens in our input and, and also count the tokens in our response. But if you remember the way this chain works is that it's got a prompt and it's got memory in there. So we need to kind of work out, okay, how do we get the, how do we access the number of tokens in those? So we've got our memory buffer that we've got here, and this is showing us like the memory that's going to be passed into the history part here. So you can see, this is the conversation that we just had and we can see that, okay, that's, that seems good. So to get the actual prompt that gets sent with our input in here, all right, we want to basically format the prompt. So here I'm basically creating a formatted prompt string with 
the conversation prompt format, I'm passing in the next input. So that's why I've just called it the next input here. And I'm passing in the memory buffer here. So when we look at the actual output here, I, I'm just going to copy it and just paste it in here so we can see it. We can see that this is what is actually being passed into the language model. The following is the prompt, right? Then we've got current conversation. Then we've got our history of the current conversation. And then including the last input, which I've called the next input here of what we are just about to send. So this sort of shows us what the, you know, what is actually being sent to the large language model there. So, okay, let's put this into a function. So we're going to have a function that basically just takes in a large language model. I, and we're going to count the number of tokens. We're going to set up a new conversation chain, passing that large language model in. We're going to say verbose equals false in this case. We're going to say that we're just using the conversation buffer memory. And then we're just setting up a simple while loop where we're basically going to ask it for an input. Uh, if the input happens to be exit, we're then going to just exit with the number of tokens that we've counted. And then we're going to basically format that input into the prompt count the number of tokens for that, add that to the conversation tokens uh, that we've got there, send that off to the, the model, get the response. So we're going to print the number of tokens that we're sending so we can see that. Send that off to the model so we can get the response, count the number of response tokens and add that in there as well. So that we're getting the whole number of tokens, both the for sending and receiving a uh, number of tokens, which is how these things would be counted. So if I just run that function, I, to find that function, now we can just run it passing in the flan model. Okay, so I'm just coming back because I realized that I had a bug in here. So we want to get the, the memory out, but we actually want to make sure that we're getting the memory out from this conversation. So before I had it actually just memory.buffer, which was the previous one we set earlier on. So now we're getting the, the new conversation memory buffer. We're getting the message that we're passing in here. So this is the, the function that we've got. All right, so we now want to try chatting to the model. So if I come in here and I just type, hi, how are you today? I, we can see that, okay, we've got the number of tokens that we sent. So remember this is, this is including this input, but also our history, which is nothing at this point. And, but also the prompt that we've got there. I'm fine. How can I help you? Are you male or female? I am female. You can see that the tokens sure enough is going up because each time our history is getting bigger as we go through this. Are you tall or short? I'm tall. And you can see sure enough our tokens are going up. Let's ask it how tall are you? Okay. So you can see that we're, we're able to have sort of, a, you know, very surface level conversation with this and, and it just, you know, very sort of low level stuff. Once we type exit, we can see the total number of tokens that was used for this conversation. So this includes everything added up of what we sent and what we received for this. So this conversation obviously is not a lot of tokens. We're just sending in some very small stuff, but you'll, you can use the same thing to sort of track when am I getting to the 2000 limit? And then you could look at either implementing a different memory, but you could also look at just trimming it, trimming the, the, this actual conversation buffer to be less that you're passing into this. One of the cool things with Langchain is when you actually break it all down, it's quite easy to see how all the parts are being put together so that we've got our prompt, we've got the input to the prompt, we've got the history, which, you know, our memory for the prompt going in there. We can also try this for the Flan T5. Are you? I'm good, thanks. What is your name? I am a robot. Okay. Uh, so th this is showing, you will find, this is actually doing better than, than often normal for the, the T5 one. And, and you could try the, the smaller T5 models as well. You can see this one, we've used a lot less tokens because we had a much shorter conversation. The idea is this allows you to compare different models like this. So you could use this same code to try out the GPT Neo models. There's a bunch of the GPT two models, you know, th this would allow you to sort of go through it. And the key thing here is this is all for free, right? This is not costing you anything. You're just using a free hugging face token. You're able to ping this a, a reasonable amount of times every month, I think. 
If you want to, you can go through and try the summary memory as well. So in the previous video, I talked about the summary memory, the advantages of that. I found with this model though, it's not very good at doing summaries. So this didn't work as well as it does on the much bigger models, but have a play with it. You can try it out yourself and see how it goes. Anyway, this is just a quick short video to go through and show you how you could talk to the FLAN 20 billion model and use Langchain to do that. If this was useful to you, please subscribe. I've got a bunch more videos that are coming for Langchain. If there's something that you would like me to cover in relation to large language models, papers, deep learning, feel free to write it in the comments. I'll definitely be making some videos related to some of the papers that, that Langchain is based on. And we'll, we'll look at some of that going forward. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.